Muwatta of Imam Malik, the book about sacrificial animals, chapter on animals avoided as sacrifices. Yahya related to me from Malik, from Amr ibn al-Harith, from Ubad ibn Faruz, from al-Bara ibn Azib, that the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, was asked what animals should be avoided as sacrifices. He indicated with his hand and said, four. Al-Bara indicated with his hand and said, My hand is shorter than the hand of the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him. A lame animal whose lameness is evident, a one-eyed animal which is clearly one-eyed, an animal which is clearly ill, and an emaciated animal with no fat on it. Yahya related to me from Malik from Nafi that Abdullah ibn Umar would guard against animals and camels which were young or had physical defects as sacrifices. Malik said, This is what I like best of what I have heard. Chapter on Animals Desirable as Sacrifices Yahya related to me from Malik from Nafi that one time Abdullah ibn Umar wanted to sacrifice an animal at Medina. Nafi said, He told me to buy him an excellent horned ram then to sacrifice it on the day of sacrifice in the people's place of prayer. Nafis said, So I did it. Then it was carried to Abdullah ibn Umar who shaved his head when the ram had been sacrificed. He was ill and did not attend the Eid with the people. Nafi added, Abdullah ibn Umar used to say, Shaving the head is not obligatory for someone who sacrifices an animal. Ibn Umar would do so, however. Chapter on Prohibition Against Sacrificing an Animal Before the Imam Finishes Yahya related to me from Malik, from Yahya ibn Sa'id, from Bushair ibn Yasar, that Abu Burda ibn Niyar sacrificed an animal before the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, sacrificed on the day of sacrifice. He asserted that the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, ordered him to sacrifice another animal. And he, Abu Burda, said, What if I can only find an animal less than one year old, Messenger of Allah? He had said, if you can only find a young animal, then sacrifice it. Yahya related to me from Malik, from Yahya ibn Sa'id, from Abad ibn Tamim, that one time, Uwamir ibn Ashkar sacrificed his animal before the prayer on the morning of the day of sacrifice. And he mentioned that the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, had ordered him to sacrifice another animal. Chapter on Storing Meat from Sacrificial Animals Yahya related to me from Malik, from Abu Az-Zubair al-Makki, from Jabir ibn Abdullah, that the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, forbade that the meat from sacrificial animals be eaten after three days. Then later he said, Eat, give sadaqah, provide for yourselves, and store up. Yahya related to me from Malik, from Abdullah ibn Abi Bakr, that Abdullah ibn Vakid said, The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, forbade eating the meat from sacrificial animals after three days. Abdullah ibn Abi Bakr continued, I mentioned that to Amra bint Abd rahman and she affirmed that he had spoken the truth as she had heard Aisha, the wife of the Prophet, peace be upon him, say, Some people from the desert came at the time of the sacrifice in the time of the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him. So the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, Store up for three days and give what is left over as sadaqah. She said that afterwards, someone said to the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, that people had been accustomed to make use of their sacrificial animals, melting the fat and curing the skins. The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, What about it? They said, You have forbidden the meat of sacrificial animals after three days. The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, I only forbade you for the sake of the people who were coming to you. Eat, give sadaqah, and store up. By these people he meant the poor people who were coming to Medina. Yahya related to me from Malik from Rabia ibn Abi Abdurrahman that Abu Sayyid al-Khudri returned from a journey and his family gave him some meat. He asked whether it was meat from the sacrifice. They replied that it was. Abu Sayyid said, Did not the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, forbid that? They said, There has been a new command from the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, since you went away. Abu Sayyid went out and made inquiries about it and was told that the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, had said, I forbade you before to eat meat of the sacrifice after three days, but now eat, give sadaqah, and store up. I forbade you before to make nabid by soaking raisins or dates in water, but now make nabid, but remember every intoxicant is forbidden. I forbade you to visit graves, but now visit them, and do not use bad language. Chapter on Sharing Sacrificial Animals Yahya related to me from Malik, from Abu Az-Zubair al-Makki, that Jabir ibn Abdullah said, 
We sacrificed with the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, in the year of Hudabiyah, a camel shared between seven people and a cow between seven people. Yahya related to me from Malik from Omara ibn Yasar that Atta ibn Yasar told him that Abu Ayyub al-Ansari had told him, We used to sacrifice one sheep and a man sacrificed for himself and his family. Then later on people began to compete with each other and it became boasting. Malik said, The best that I have heard about a single camel, cow or sheep is that a man should sacrifice a camel for himself and his family. He should sacrifice a cow or a sheep which he owns for the family and share with them in it. It is disapproved for a group of people to buy a camel, cow, or sheep to share for the ritual and sacrifice, each giving a share of its price and taking a share of its meat. We have heard the tradition that people do not share in the ritual. However, it may be that the people of one household can share. Yahya related to me from Malik that Ibn Shihab said, The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, only sacrificed one camel or one cow for himself and his family. Malik said, I do not know which of them Ibn Shihab mentioned. Chapter on the sacrificial animal for the child in the womb and mention of the days of sacrifice. Yahya related to me from Malik, from Nafi, that Abdullah ibn Umar said, The sacrifice can be done up to two days after the day of sacrifice. Yahya related to me from Malik that the same had reached him from Ali ibn Abi Talib. Yahya related to me from Malik, from Nafi, that Abdullah ibn Umar did not sacrifice for the child still in the womb. Malik said the sacrifice is sunnah, but it is not obligatory. I prefer that anyone who has the price of the animal should not abandon it.